we purchased our Platinum 2021 Toyota Sienna in April of this year. And many of you have seen a number of videos about how I modified and use our van for camping and sleeping. In this video, I talk about how well the current build has worked for us in over a dozen camping trips, what we've learned from our travels, what I plan to change in my camping build moving forward, and what we like and dislike about our Sienna as a vehicle in general. Hello and welcome to Telvia. The idea of using a minivan as a camping vehicle occurred to us earlier this year as a result of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We wanted to travel, but didn't want to fly or stay at hotels or Airbnbs. I think thousands of other people had the same idea, as we have seen so many RVs and Sprinter van conversions on the road. We chose the Toyota Sienna as our travel vehicle of choice because its normal form factor allows us to drive and park it as a standard car. It's great not to worry about vehicle size while turning or about vehicle's height restrictions when parking. The hybrid Sienna's exceptional fuel economy also makes it a responsible ecological choice and saves us money on fuel. Before I talk about our experience camping and sleeping in our Sienna, I want to give you our three favorite and three least favorite features in our Sienna after eight months of ownership. It's not a surprise that our number one favorite feature is its fuel efficiency. After 11,000 miles, I'm pleased to report that our average fuel consumption is 36.5 miles per gallon. That's 1.5 mile per gallon better than the official Toyota estimate for this vehicle. Since we primarily use our van for long-distance highway driving at higher than posted speed limits, this fuel economy is truly impressive because hybrid vehicles typically have higher fuel consumption during highway driving than during city driving. I also would like to point out that while the Sienna is not a performance vehicle, we found it to be very responsive. In a number of situations where I had to accelerate from a stop-and-go traffic to change lanes in order to make my turn or exit, I was pleasantly surprised by the available acceleration from this hybrid van. Because the hybrid powertrain can instantly apply all available torque from the front and rear electric motors, this van has an acceleration advantage over many cars of the line at intersections. Our number two favorite feature in this vehicle is the sound insulation of its cabin. As I have shown in my previous videos, the new Sienna is exceptionally quiet on the road. This allows us to cover long distances and spend long hours driving while experiencing minimal fatigue. Our number three feature, which I originally was very skeptical about, is the camera-based rear view mirror. It has a narrow field of view versus an optical mirror, but we quickly got used to it, and now we use this camera-based rear view option in both day and night driving. The camera-based rear view provides an unobstructed view of everything behind the van. It also allows us to carry our gear stocked high in the back of the van without obscuring our rear view. Among the features that are not so great are Sienna's rear and front entertainment systems. The rear entertainment system is completely useless to us and takes valuable headroom space behind the seats. The front entertainment system has very poor sound quality and is barely usable for listening to audiobooks while driving. Listening to music on this system is also very disappointing. The bass is boomy and muddy, and the separation in mid and high frequency ranges is almost non-existent. This is a truly a missed opportunity for Toyota to satisfy the audiophiles among their customers, especially since the vehicle is so quiet inside. Rather than equipping this top-tier trim Sienna with a run-of-the-mill sound system, Toyota could have offered an upgrade option for the audio system. Front seat comfort remains our number two on our list of worst features of this vehicle. Some of my viewers may remember that I raised the fronts of the driver and passenger seats by one inch to better support our lower ties. This made the front seats more comfortable, however, we still feel that a greater range of tilt adjustability in the front seats is needed. Lexus is the luxury brand of Toyota, and we could find a better quality of cabin materials in Lexus vehicles. But Lexus doesn't make a minivan. 
The quality of interior plastic, particularly in the lower sections of the cabin of 2021 Sienna, is so poor that even minor scuffs by feet or luggage create scratches and marks. I like to keep our vehicles clean and notice this poor quality of plastic panels every time I vacuum the van. Seeing this poor quality of materials devalues what is otherwise a great vehicle. This is our number three least favorite feature. Toyota can and should do better with cabin materials, especially in their higher trim vehicles. Now let's talk about our experience using new hybrid Sienna for camping and sleeping while traveling. The new Sienna is designed for transportation needs of a larger family rather than a camping vehicle. In my earlier videos, I have shown how I modified our Sienna for comfortable sleeping for two. In the past eight months, we slept in our minivan 21 nights. We tried traveling with the sleeping platform folded and bedding stowed away. While this provided easy access to our gear and extra luggage space, it required extra time for bed setup every day. Traveling with the bed unfolded and ready for sleeping worked much better for late night arrivals at the campsite, but made it difficult to store and access our gear during travel. Eating out while traveling is not our preferred way of eating healthy. We prefer to use a portable refrigerator and cook food using ingredients we bring with us from home or buy at grocery stores when traveling. The ergonomics of easy access to food, water, and our cooking gear during travel is important. Over the past eight months, we've learned a number of lessons about how to improve our advanced camping conversion moving forward. Let's talk about some of the lessons. Lesson number one. Headroom space is very important if you plan to sleep in the van. Being able to sit upright on the bed to dress and undress is very desirable. When building my car and design, I knew that headroom was important, but I made a compromise and allocated more room for storage under the bed rather than maximizing headroom. We also chose a 6-inch thick mattress rather than the originally planned 4-inch thick model. Lesson number two. We found our portable refrigerator to be indispensable even for a one-night camping trip, particularly in summer. Using a fully charged Jackery 1500 battery allows us to run our car fridge for up to three days, cool to 36 degrees Fahrenheit, and bring enough fresh food with us for three to four days of camping without restocking. In my camping build, our refrigerator is stored in the third row seat well. It is more secure to keep such a heavy item close to the ground and well secured when driving. To do this, we use cover panels over the refrigerator area. To access refrigerator, however, to get a cold drink or grab a sandwich requires repositioning the luggage stored on the top of the rear well, opening both cover panels and using the refrigerator's lid to keep the well open. After having accessed the refrigerator during stops in travel, we found our current fridge ergonomics to be inefficient and rather annoying. Lesson number three. Carry only the gear that is truly needed on a given camping trip. We all have tendency to bring more stuff with us anytime we go anywhere. With some large RVs, this may not be a big problem. But Sienna is still just a passenger van and space for luggage is limited. We also found that bringing more gear does not necessarily add to our enjoyment at the campsite, but rather makes us waste time moving things around. It's better to go for a long hike than to bring an extra comfy chair, because after the hike, just sitting on the bench at the campsite will be a treat. Lesson number four. My current sleeping conversion in new Sienna was based on the assumption that we would need to frequently fold and unfold the bedding platform so we could reinstall the second row seats. We actually did travel and sleep with the second row seats installed in one of our trips. This worked well, but we won't be traveling with the second row seats installed in the foreseeable future. This brings me to lesson number five we wanted to continue going camping during the winter months and realized that this is likely to be a different type of camping. In winter months, it gets dark by 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, which is severely limits the range of activities we can plan for at the campsite in the dark. 
One way to solve this limitation is by camping relatively close to a larger town or a city where we can keep ourselves entertained in the evening hours. Recently, we camped at the campground near Big Sur, California. During the day, we visited picturesque Pacific Grove and Monterey, and later that afternoon went to see the new James Bond movie. On our way to the campground, we stopped at Carmel by the Sea to walk on the streets of this nice coastal town and finally arrived at our campsite at 9 o'clock in the evening. It was very dark at the campsite. But with our bed fully made for sleeping in the back of the van, we settled for the night quickly and hassle-free. The next morning we enjoyed our favorite breakfast and went for a long hike along a coastal ridge with magnificent views to the ocean. Short winter camping getaways bring us a new sense of appreciation of our home, the neighborhood, and the town we live in. Because we often decide to go camping as a spur-of-the-moment idea, we now keep our van always ready, bed made, and keep pieces of gear packed. All we have to do to reserve an open campsite, grab some food from our home fridge, and go. Going camping this way also feels more like an adventure. Based on these five lessons from traveling and camping with our Sienna this year, I'm thinking about rebuilding our sleeping conversion to make our minivan even more enjoyable for camping and sleeping in the upcoming year. If I decide to do a rebuild of our van, I will share with you my new design and its features. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Sienna update and found it interesting. See you next time. Cheers.